Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 6 of the Adobe Photoshop tutorial series. So today we're going to look at how to rasterize layers and merge layers and we'll also talk about smart objects over here. So over here, uh, inside of Photoshop, we actually have um, smart objects as well in layer. So we ta already talked about layers in previous lessons. So let me just create a layer over here and then drag this out. Uh, let me just use the selection tool over here. Okay, so use the selection tool, go control backspace and then create a new layer and press alt backspace so that I have a foreground and background color over there. So right now what is happening is that uh, these are rasterized layers. So if I were to press control T, then what it actually does is, is it brings out the uh, resize tool. And if I were to resize this to a small size, then you can see nothing happens. And if I were to press control T again and then drag it up, you can see that uh, this is actually getting a bit blurry. So this is what happens with rasterized layers as you lose the pixel information as you resize it. So, uh, however, if you are done with the work and if you want to save some space, then you can even merge the layers. So you can just shift select two layers or three layers if you have more. So I can right click, duplicate the layer as well. So let me just right click on this and duplicate this, duplicate the layer, press OK. So I got duplicate layers right here. And I can shift select all of these and then, okay, shift select, uh, right click. Okay, when I use the screen recorder, this actually gives some problem. Uh, right click and then shift select it all. So I just select the first part, select all of these and control right click and then merge layers. So if I were to do that, then what actually happens is that now this all acts as the same layer right there. So you only want to do this after you have done your work. Otherwise, you cannot do further edits. But this does help to save some file size later on. So now, uh, what I can also do is I can convert this into a smart object. So if I were to right click and go to convert to smart object, then, then this actually converts to smart object. Last time what we saw was that if we were to resize, we would lose the quality. So let us try that out again. If I were to press Control T, Drag this down, press enter, control T, and then drag this up and press enter. Then you can see that the quality does not decrease because this is saved as a smart object. And smart object saves the original uh, information there and it does not let the resizing uh, hamper with the pixels. So whenever you actually uh, open up the picture itself, it actually brings out the smart object. If I can also rasterize this layer. So in order to rasterize this, simply right click again and then just choose rasterize layer. And once you do that, uh, the same effect actually happens. Now this is a raster layer. So I'm going to resize this down, press enter, control T, resize this up. And now you can see the quality degrades again. So let me just delete that out in order to delete a layer. Just select the layer and press the dustbin icon right here and press yes. So that actually deletes the layer. Let me just place the picture again. So let me just place the picture. Okay, so it's loading. There's the picture that I have. So if I were to resize this and press enter, you might think that the quality is lost. But if I were to control uh, press T again then the, uh, and drag it out, you can see that the quality is preserved. But this actually keeps a lot of load on the processor. So if you want a faster method of edit, then you would want to rasterize the layer. So this is right now a smart object. So if I were to right click on this and then change this into rasterize layer, then if I were to resize this, uh, as long as I'm scaling down, nothing happens. It actually maintains the quality right there. But if I were to scale this back up again, then it loses the quality. But this does result in a faster editing, which I sometimes require. So smart object does take a lot of processing power. So it is heavy on your computer processor. But if you want a quick way, and you do know what you're doing, you don't want to constantly resize and you want to stick to rasterized layers. So that is how uh, rasterizing, merging layers and smart object work uh, inside of Adobe Photoshop. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.